the only thing that we share in common, if I may say, with the other missions that you have heard about, is the country name assigned to the USAID. Everything else is different. Let me. I'm going to walk you through these four points. Uh, but before I do that, let me ask you, how many of you have heard about Feed the Future Strategic Partner Country? No, I'm not asking the Washington guy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. That tells you already uh, something. Few hands uh, do, uh, do I see. Uh, it's not just about the CRISP community who are not very familiar with that name. I hate to say that uh, even our own agency, many are not very familiar or fully familiar with what that is. But I'll shortly explain to you. Uh, and then I'll show you the uh, CDCS uh, that seem to have followed exactly what was designed for our strategic partner country uh, in 2010. And then I'll show you a list of <coughs> various programs under what we call Development Objective 3 and 4, which is part of our uh, CDCS. Uh, here is what Feed the Future partnership is all about. First of all, there are three countries that were designated as such. That includes Brazil, South Africa, and India, of course. <coughs> and then one of the engineers is sitting here, Bed, uh, bail me out if I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> they said a strategic partner country is not the primary beneficiary of the Feed the Future initiative. That's a very strong statement. And it goes on to say that the strategic uh, uh, partner may leverage its expertise, economic or institutional resources to increase incomes, reduce poverty, and improve nutrition, which are really overall feed the future goal somewhere else. And those somewhere else are the focus feed the future countries that everybody knows except the strategic partner country that nobody seems to know. I'm not complaining, just trying to make a point. <laughs> How often do you get people to put up a slide and say, I know you can't read it? Uh, really? <laughs> okay, so, so surely you can't read this. Uh, in fact, this is by luck. The computer could not just get the whatever, read the color that I used. And it's as well because I didn't have much in that box. Simply because USAID India was where, this is where we were, and this is where, where we are heading to, the green side. Over the next five years, that is what we hope or where we hope to be. Uh, overall goal, uh, the partnership is transformed to increasingly contribute to global effort, not just about the effort that's going on in India. And then we have two sub goals. <clears throat> One, that is what we inherited, basically referring to strengthening the Indian system. Whereas sub goal two, which is Indian innovation, accelerate development outcomes in India, but the most important one globally as well. Now, if you look at the uh, DO3 and DO4, we have two intermediary results that refers to our office, that is the food security office. The rest are in area of health, infrastructure, sorry, uh, clean energy, education, etc. I don't want to bother you with that. But if I just read IR 3.3, agricultural innovations identified, tested, and scaled. And then under what we call Development Objective 4, which is really going to drive exactly where the agency is going down the line, sorry, the mission, innovations proven in India increasingly adapted in other countries. And this development objective applies to all the other sectors. This is an afterthought that we picked up. But that is really what the development objective, the focus of our effort is going to be moving forward over the next uh, five years. And under that, you'll see IRR 4.1, Indian Innovation for Development Impact, shared with other countries. That includes agricultural innovations. So based on that, under DO3, we have about four programs, most of them basically launched or initiated before we started talking about, loudly talking about the strategic partnership. We have what we call CII. Uh, CI is just the name of an entity that is implementing it, but the focus is really developing a business model where probably services will be made available or accessed by farmers in an effective and efficient manner. 
and then we will have a situation where their product will be bought back or whatever market would be created, let me put it that way. And that is, is trying to kind of come up with a workable or a functioning business hub uh, that hopefully once we test it in India, we'll be able to share it with the rest of uh, feed Focus Feed the Future countries. The other program is Agricultural Innovation Partnership. It's a university program led by UC Davis. Literally strengthen the capacity of Indian national institutions currently, but increasingly that program is also focusing in supporting uh, African universities, particularly currently we are moving to Malawi. The third program is a PGMP Improvement Research Program that is headed by ACRISAT. That is strictly a research effort, basically trying to develop improved variety of PGMP. And then we have the CISA. I don't think I need to explain to many of you here. You seem to know about it. And very soon you're going to go out and see it uh, as part of your field trip. And then <coughs> under DO4, which is the India Innovation for Development Impact Shared, we have two <coughs> flagship programs. One is the U.S. India Africa, Africa Triangular Training Program, where we have committed ourselves to train 180 Africans from Kenya, Malawi, and Liberia in Indian institutions. This is really a government to government to government effort uh, that started about three years ago, uh, especially following President Obama's visit to India. And it's one program that has been really fully uh, uh, supported by and appreciated by all the in part participating uh, governments. And the second is uh, something that we launched last year. We call it India-Africa Agricultural Innovation Bridge. Uh, it's, that is really the core of our effort where we are trying to identify Indian innovation and be able to take it to those countries. Uh, let me just point out that those countries were selected by the government of India for reason that is probably convenient for them but not necessarily consistent with our Feed the Future goal. Down the line, we are trying to negotiate with Washington to see if, in fact, that focused geographic region could be expanded to both Asia and Africa, and in Africa, just beyond Kenya, Malawi, and, and Liberia. Uh, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, more than happy to answer. Thanks. To learn more, please visit agrilinks.org and feedthefuture.gov. And to learn more about this mission's activities, please visit www.usa.gov/india.